All right, here we've got uh, Paper Ghost Stories, Third Eye Open. We've had it in the Switch, courtesy of the uh, publisher. This is a pretty cool and interesting game. So you play as Ting, and uh, you go through five years of her life. She's uh, currently almost six years old. And she befriends a ghost named, I think it's pronounced as Zhao. Um, and together you guys can navigate the real world and spiritual realm and helping these ghosts, and uh, helping your family, and just kind of navigating this idea that she has this special power to be able to speak and assist uh, spirits in the spirit realm. It's a pretty unique game in the fact that um, everything is like a paper theater style. Um, so all of the characters are paper, all the objects in the world are paper, but the environments themselves um, are, are kind of 3D, uh, di diorama style. And the game just has a very unique and awesome look to it. Um, I just love the animation. I love the look of the game. It's just a beautiful looking game. So here we are in the upstairs area of the her house. It's where you start out at. Our family just moved here. And right now you're going to go ahead and go with your mom to the park or the shops here to pick up some stuff. And just have a, uh, you know, girl's day. But the music's great. And the writing's really well done. Um, it does take a bit of getting used to the way things are written. Um, but overall, the game's pretty fun. Let's just go ahead and talk to mom here. And there you are. Let's go. Hee <laughs> hee, let's go. Again, she's almost six years old. She's five, so... Later that morning at the coffee shop. So, how do you like it? Hmm? Mommy, Rody... 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 Bacar is my favorite. Also, this pink drink thing. Mommy, what's it called? Rody Bacar, a common breakfast item in coffee shops. Thick toasted bread spread with butter and coconut custard. It's called Guleng Peng. And you shouldn't drink too much because it's very sweet. Hmm, Gulang. Come on, say it slowly. Gulang Peng. Gulang is Hokkien for cow's milk, and Peng means ice. The pink color comes from the rose syrup. Hokkien is a dialect of spoken Chinese. Hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> rose like the flower? Haha, <laughs> that's weird, mommy, but I like it. He. I knew you would. It's very sweet and colorful, just like you. Have mummy, why is it called just Gulang Pang when it's not just milk and ice? There's the rose syrup and these little bead things. <laughs> Language is very strange. Complicated, girl. Oh, a girl is a common way to refer to children in many mostly Chinese households in Malaysia. People don't always say what they mean or understand what something is before they name it. That's just how we are. Then maybe we'll, I will just shout, sweet milk, next time we come for breakfast. Oh, well, that's the thing. If you did, no one would know what you mean. Mommy, why is it so, why is it so complicated? <laughs> Don't be sad, girl. It just always have to, it doesn't always have to be, you just need to pay attention to what people say. Now quickly, let's finish up. After this, we have to go to the Chinese medicine store nearby to collect some herbs. Okay, um, mommy, what are you? What are the herbs for? Well, it's just something to help keep my energy up. I've been feeling a bit tired and slow lately, and your auntie Je June Jun June kept telling me that these herbs helped her. Oh, mommy, can I have some of the herbs too? Then maybe I can wake up easier. He. <laughs> I don't think you. I don't think you like the herbs, girl. These are very bitter, not like your gulang peng. Ugh, then I don't want any, mommy. That's okay, girl. You're still you're still young, and you have so much energy already. Okay, wait first while. Okay, wait first while pay the pay the bill, and then we will go. All right. Yes, mommy. So I have a feeling that her mom might be sick, um, maybe cancer potentially, because the game the game description does indicate that her family's falling apart. Um, that might be part of it. I 
I don't know, but I have a feeling that's maybe what it is. But again, look at how wonderful this world looks. Everything is just paper. It looks so awesome. I really can't get over how awesome this art style is. It's really neat. It is really, really neat. Yeah, people walking around. I mean, it's just so cool looking. Very unique. Ah, uh, hello, May. Come to pick up your monthly supply, hmm? Hello, Auntie. Yes, just major things, please. Though perhaps you could add a bit more ging uh, gingo nut. Yes, can. Can. Are you feeling better after trying the ginseng tea? You mentioned before you were feeling tired and, and unfocused. Mommy, what does unfocused mean? Oh, and who is this? Your daughter, huh? Yes, Auntie Yip, this is my daughter, Ting. I wanted to bring her for breakfast to the Kopitiam at the corner there. Kopitiam is a type of coffee shop common in Southeast Asia. Wow, so nice f you come to your mother to buy medicine also. Hmm? Uh -huh. Um, uh, <laughs> Ting, it's okay. Sorry, Auntie Yip, she's very shy usually. No matter, no matter. Tell you what. Can you help Auntie calculate your mummy's bill? I think you are a smart girl, right? Oh yes, my friend Zhao already taught me how to do mathematics, adding and subtracting with money. Ah, so grown up all this girl. Okay, so this month your mummy has three things on her bill. Blackwood fungus, which costs eleven twenty. Ring it. Ring it is a local currency in Malaysia. I increased the ginkgo amount, so that's eight eighty ring it today. And last is a ginseng root tea, which is 21 ringgit. Do you remember all that? Mm, yes, I do remember it. Very good girl. Now think, how much is your mommy's bill? 11, 28, 80, and 21. I'll add it together. I remember I learned that uh, at what point between numbers, right? Yes, that told me that how to separate and carry the numbers. All right, so altogether it should be. Oh, great. Now how to do math. Uh... <laughs> I guess I did. I didn't think they were gonna have to actually uh, add it. Okay. All right. Anyway, um, this has been a look at. I'm just want to pay attention. Um, at uh, uh, favorite ghost stories, a great, wonderful, uh, very unique looking game available on uh, Switch and other platforms. I want to thank the publisher for their opportunity. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and have a gaming.